Welcome to a demonstration of IES's OpenStreetMap feature. If you open the VE and type in OSM, which stands for OpenStreetMap, you will see a map window open up. You must be connected to the internet for this to work. Now, I'll type in a location, for example, Canary Wharf. I press enter and it searches the map and takes me to a location of Canary Wharf. In this example, I'm going to pick one candle square. I can see my one candle square flag up using this blue icon. I'm going to click on this and then click place import site at this location. You'll see a red circle appear. Anything within this red circle is what will be pulled in to the VE. The circle looks a bit large to me, so I'm going to edit this by clicking on the yellow flag. I want to say anything within 200 meters of one canvas square I want to pull in to my model. Click save and you see the circle radius reduced. Now I'm ready to import into the VE. I'm going to click on save and import. It only takes a few seconds, depending on your internet connection, for the model to be pulled into the virtual environment. Notice you're in Model Ed module. Once this is complete, you'll notice the model in the VE Model Ed workspace. Now I can zoom out and take a look at the axonometric view, and you'll notice it's pulled in the height data. More importantly, if I go to Model Viewer 2, you can see a 3D model of all the data and buildings which have been brought in. Here's a map, a 3D map of Canary Wharf. Now I can continue displaying my solar shading data and exploring the model in a bit more detail. It's very quick and easy to use and it just takes 60 seconds to bring in 3D data.